How to create a photo book. The basics. Before starting your project, make sure you're happy with the size and style of your photo book. As once in the photo book builder, these cannot be changed. Start by choosing the photos you'd like to use in your photo book. From your photo library, you can select your photos either by photos or albums. If you want to use all the photos from one album, click Select All, or you can select images individually. Once you're happy with your selection, click Add to Project, and this will add all images to your photo book project. After choosing your photos, you can either autofill or manually place your photos into the photo book. Autofill allows you to create your photo book in seconds. Each page is filled with a random number of photos using different layouts. The photos you selected are in the photo well. Any photo with a blue check mark is used in the photo book. To hide the photos that have been used, select Options and Hide Used Photos. You can delete or add additional photos to the project. If you want to add photos to your photo book, you have the choice of manually placing your photo by dragging and dropping, or you can run autofill again. When dragging and dropping photos, note the dotted border around the edge of the page. This is the printing safe zone. Any photos, text or embellishments outside of this line will not be printed. To view your photo book from cover to cover, select Book View. Whilst in the book view, you can review a particular page by either double-clicking on the page or by typing the page number in the top toolbar and pressing Enter. If you would like to have a closer look at a page, then click on the Zoom In button to increase the size of the page and the Zoom Out button to return it back to normal. You can flip through the photo book using the arrows. The page numbers are shown below and the page is highlighted in blue. There are many different editing options available when creating a photo book. If you select the image you would like to edit, you will see the following editing options. You can rotate the photo using the bottom rotate button, resize and crop the photo using any of the edge markers. You can change the order of a photo by moving it to the front or back by using the layering icon. You can make the photo the background of one page or both pages by clicking either button. If you want to swap photos round, simply choose both photos and press Swap. In Move mode, you can drag the photo around the page. In Crop mode, you can zoom in or out, pane and crop the photo. To switch between the different modes, simply click the button. Each time you select the Shuffle button, it produces a completely new layout. Note that Shuffle does not move non-photo objects like text and embellishments. If you want to revert back to a previous layout, press the Undo button. A standard photo book comes with 20 pages. If you would like to add pages, you can click on the Add – Remove Page button. You can add and delete pages in multiples of two but cannot go below the standardised 20 pages. When you're happy with your project, save it. Review it to see how your photo book will print and if you like what you see, select Add to Cart and you're ready to go.